A long-running public inquiry into patients being infected with contaminated blood will hear its final evidence today. Some 2,400 people died after they became infected with HIV and hepatitis C through contaminated blood products in the 1970s and the 1980s. The outcome of the inquiry is expected to be published later this year. Des Collins, who's a senior partner of Collins Solicitors and advisor to 1,500 victims and families, told Sky News earlier that the Department for Health has refused to say what they're sorry for. One of the disappointing things about it, I have to say, is that the Department of Health began this inquiry and very, very openly saying, we are sorry. That was four, over four years ago. When asked uh, about 10 days ago, could they tell us what they were sorry about? They didn't, they couldn't, they refused. And um, we had hoped that this inquiry would uncover the truth and uh, there would be a, an openness about uh, what happened, an openness about what happened, why it happened, and why it should not have happened. And all we get at the moment in the closing days of the inquiry is the Department of Health, a Secretary of State for Health, refusing to give proper instructions to his lawyers so those lawyers can appear before the inquiry and say what they apologise for. Now that is serious.